it is really important to understand the effectiveness of our tests. An important metric that we can collect is the test coverage. That is, when we execute our tests, we can see what lines of our application are being exercised with our tests and which ones are not. If we run Flutter tests with the coverage flag enabled, we see that a new folder called coverage has been created and has one file inside, lcov.info. If we open this file, we see that we cannot make much sense of its content. This report follows a standard called Elcov, a well-known coverage tool in the programming field. If you install Elcov, you will have access to a command line tool called gen-hcml. This tool will receive our Elcov.info file, can take an optional output file as well, and when we run it, it will generate an HTML report that is much easier to understand. Let's open the index.html report on a browser and see its content. For example, the pi.dar file shows a coverage of 93.8%. That means that a 6.2% of that file has not been tested. If we open the file details, we can confirm that the assert calculator is not null line is not being tested. 